Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is confidence interval with a known standard deviation. There is also with an unknown standard deviation, and we have a video about that, and the video is in our video description. Okay, but first of all, what is this? A confidence Interval is a range of values between which the value of the population parameter is believed to be along with a probability that the interval correctly estimates the true or unknown population parameter. The probability is called the level of confidence, denoted by 1 minus alpha, where, where alpha is a number between 0 and 1. So the level of confidence is usually expressed as a percentage. Common values are 90, 95, or 99 percent. What does it mean if my uh, confidence or level of confidence is 90 percent? It means that if I do this 100 times in 90, my interval will be correct. In 10, it will be not correct. If I want to go more accurate, 99 percent, 100 times 99, I will be good only 1% I will be bad. So my confidence interval will be larger. Okay? So we have a formula here where we use a uh, normal distribution on Excel and so on. So huge formulas, a lot of brackets and uh, square roots and so on. But there is a, an easier, much, much easier way that is with this confidence norm formula on Excel. All we need is the alpha standard deviation that the size of our sample. For instance, let's go to our Excel. And remember, all our Excel files are free. And the link to download this file is in our video description. So here, Scarps car rental owns 50 vehicles for rent. Based on past data, the average of the useful life of vehicles is 150 miles, and the standard deviation is 18.5 miles. And here, we know the standard deviation. So it is a known standard deviation. We know it. Uh, we want to do a confidence interval of 90%. So the alpha will be 10. Remember, alpha is 1 minus, or level of confidence is 1 minus alpha. So alpha is 1 minus level of confidence. And then the error is what we are finding here. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I will delete this 90% and then the 95 and 99 is the same. So the error, oh, sorry, you here, it is the confidence norm here. So let's go to our Excel formulas, insert function. Let's go on all, C. Confidence norm, not confidence T, is for the next video. Confidence norm. What do we want? The alpha, 10. The standard deviation, 18 and 500. And size, 50. We don't need the average here. The average is completely useless for our error. So here, okay. 4303 dollars and 42 uh, 4303 miles point 42 so how do we do our uh our confidence interval so now we use the average so the average is 150 and now our interval between two numbers the lower and the upper so the lower will be average minus error, 145, upper 150 plus 
error 154. And here, see that with 99, so this is our lower, so let's go here on yellow, our upper, let's go green, color of Brazilian flag, my home country. Uh, so here, see that the wider our interval is, our, conf our uh, confidence interval is, the lower is the, uh, or the larger is our confidence interval. So to be 99% accurate, or to be 99% of the times right, my interval is from 143 to 156. Okay, don't want to be that accurate, only to be accurate in only 90% of the times. So the lower will go to 145 and upper to 154. So the larger is our confidence interval, the larger is, uh, is our uh, upper, lower and upper. Okay, guys, so easy way to calculate our error and then with our error, we find our lower and upper. Remember, the more accurate we want, the larger will be the confidence interval. The least accurate, the narrow will be our confidence interval. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave them here or email me at jscarping.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.